You know what simply astounds me, my friends? The scriptural and biblical ignorance of the church today. I've been seeing so many crazy Christians. They, they seriously have lost their minds. They're trying to equate scripture. I'm not even going to get into the scripture because it's just, to me, it's just tearing the scripture apart. We all have a Bible. We can all read our own Bible and see what the scripture says. People love to argue scripture all the time, but they are just so clueless as to what they're saying. Here's what I'm talking about. This tragedy in Paris. They're trying to say, and, and Paul Begley, of course, is spearheading it. They're trying to say that the satanic band, the Eagles of Death Metal, playing in Paris, is fulfillment of prophecy because the eagle was there, death was there, blah, 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 blah. Wah, 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 wah. I get so sick and, you know, is it any wonder that Christians are mocked? Does anyone actually, does anyone with an IQ of higher than five actually think for a moment <coughs> that God's going to put his prophetic word on a future um, demonic heavy metal band? Do you know how many heavy metal bands are demonic? 99.9% .9 of them. So every single one of them, whenever they play somewhere, should be prophecy being fulfilled according to Begley, right? Because, hey, aren't there flies dying outside or mosquitoes or roaches or anything else? I'm just so tired. Is it any wonder people mock us and laugh at us as Christians because of these nut jobs out there that are putting out stuff like this? It just, it just dumbfounds me. It just, it's staggering. My brain can't even begin to comprehend the madness these people are portraying. Do me a favor, everyone out there, as I tell you so many times. Pick up your own Bible. Check in the Bible with what I say. Verify it. That way you're doing your own studying. I know the Bible. I've read the Bible through many, 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 many times, cover to cover in my life. I know God's Word. Do you know it? Verify everything everyone says. And just because they can twist the scripture around and try to put some heavy metal band in with the Paris thing, that doesn't make the scripture showing that. Let's use a little common sense. I know there's not much common sense anymore, but please, let's try to have a little bit of common sense, Christians, and stop listening to all these people out there. Anyone who says anything about that heavy metal band in Paris being a coincidence, being a prophetic or being biblical, you need to get your head checked. You need to go ahead and stop calling yourself a Christian if you are right now because you're clueless as to what the Bible says. Clueless. You have no idea. Zero idea. It's sickening to hear all this junk out there. Pray for those families of those left behind who died in Paris. Pray for that metal band that they might find Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior. But stop taking God's word and trying to make it into some kind of a voodoo book into some kind of a soothsayer and some kind of a, of a divining book and try to divine things. Just stop it. Stop it now. If you've never been saved or you're backslidden, pray the prayer I've got in the box below the video title. Do the six vital next steps because no one's guaranteed any more time in their life, especially listening to all these just totally clueless so-called teachers, preachers, watchmen, whoever they are. It just makes me sick. I can't imagine how God feels. If you'd like me to pray for you, contact me and I will. True Christians, keep looking up. Our dipshit draweth nigh. We fly soon. Keep playing the seed. Witness, pray, walk away. Let God do all the work and stop listening to all of these that lie in God's name. Bye.